Since 1976, Turning Point has helped more than 24,000 people. The agency is focused on African Americans who are chemically dependent, homeless, and or of low socioeconomic status. Now this Friday night, there will be a honors gala at International Market Square to raise money for the organization. And here to tell us more about Turning Point and that gala, we have Angela Reed and Woodrow Jefferson. Thank you to both of you for coming in. You both work at Turning Point. And Woodrow, yeah. I understand you're being honored as well. Yep, employee of the year. Congratulations. Congratulations. Yeah. Pretty exciting. Yeah, I, no big deal. Look at you, you don't even <laughs> want to talk about it. Well, Woodrow, we'll start with you first. How did you get involved with Turning Point? Well, um, you know, I was a client, you know, I had some uh, issues, uh, chemical health issues, and uh, I tried other treatment centers, uh, and it just seemed to work for me, but when I went to Turning Point, it all seemed to click for me about who I was and what was my purpose in life, and so from that moment on, I became, from there, I became a, was a client, then I became a board member, and through that, I been working at uh, Turning Point for the last 12 years. Well, what a wonderful success story yeah. you are, and now you are helping other people as well. Angela, for people who are not familiar with Turning Point, tell us about your services. Well, Turning Point is a drug rehabilitation clinic located in North Minneapolis. Been around for 41 years, um, and we just celebrate the African American culture. We ingrain it in everything that we do. Uh, we wanted to provide services that the community needs based on what's, you know, affecting us locally. So we have inpatient, outpatient. We also have housing. It's a big problem. I mean, people can go through treatment, but if they have nowhere to go or have to return to the same environment, that's not going to be conducive for their long-term recovery. And we also have a service center, so community members can come and visit where we do testing. Um, an attorney is available, mental health counseling, and we also do diversity and inclusion training for um, the states, nationally, just to kind of give everybody, you know, a ground foundation to understand how to serve people and with an open and honest philosophy where questions can be engaged and it's not a lot of pressure with the taboo when it comes to race. We just mm -hmm. want to talk about it and be there for people. And you guys have the big gala coming up on Friday. Sharon Sales Belton, the first African American female mayor in the state of Minnesota is being honored. What does she mean to your organization and why is she an important role model for people who will attend? Woodrow? Well, you know, like I said, the thing I took is that first is she's the first uh, African American and as well as female. And uh, Sharon's been active in the community for many, many years, you know, Harry Tubbin and on and on. And so uh, we've looked back over the years and we feel that it's important to honor them while they're still somewhat alive and so we wanted to make sure that she was part of this movement that we're doing here at Turning Point. And really quickly, uh, Angela, the proceeds from the gala are going to go towards another project, low rent housing on Glenwood Avenue. Tell us real quickly about that. Correct. It's um, a housing program that we've been operating for a long period of time, but what's nice is that we rent to felons, we work with people, we have case management, we provide support. So if people are having problems getting housing, we give them that kind of that little boost and help them think about the long term and what they need. And so any sort of help that we have to be able to reach the community, we want to use it. And so this um, housing project has been a great success. The people involved are connected. You know, people are able to stay, you know, but our goal is to help them move on if we're able to. Well, it sounds like it's going to be a really inspirational night. If you're interested, Turning Point's fifth annual Honors Gala is at International Market Square this Friday night from 6 to 7.30. Tickets are $100 for the dinner and program. We have information about how to buy tickets at WCCO.com slash links. Thank Thanks you both for coming in. Thank, thank you. And thank you for the work you do in the community. Thank All right, you. Thank you. Thank you.